Hi there. This video is about how to contribute to the Stand Hall game. Stand Hall is an open source game and it's multiplayer and online. So this video may be suitable for you if you have played the game and you're interested in knowing how to give back to the community that made it and perhaps you haven't got any code experience at all. You might be interested in learning or you might want to use other skills you've got like drawing. Alternatively, you might be looking for a software project to get involved in, and in which case an open source project like Stendhal is a pretty good one. In any case, I tend to find that development of the game is easier if you do have a little bit of an idea of what the game is like, what it's about and how it works. So if you haven't tried it already, then just click play now, create an account and have a go. Alright, so let's get started. The game server website, stendorgame.org, acts as a portal to all the documents that you should need for contribution to the game and any tools that you might need too. So, I'm going to show you what's available from the website. I'm going to scroll down past all the player related information and game related information and we're going to be focusing on this help box here on the left and this contribute box here on the right. If you're just interested in getting a copy of the source code to have a look at for now, click through to all downloads and from there you can see our source file which is a gzip hosted on sourceforge.net. As a contributor, you don't need to be added to the team immediately to start helping because we do accept patches. If you would like to submit a patch then there is a link here to how to go straight to our patches tracker. Okay, I'm going to stop talking jargon for the moment and just start from the beginning. Let's click on this development link here. This gives you an overview of some of the aspects of the game that you might be interested in helping with. Like I said before, you don't have to be a software developer already to start helping the project. You might be a player. You might have some ideas for a quest, but you don't know how to implement them and you don't know how to write them in a form that would let anyone else implement them either. So what we've got is a guide to quest contribution. This guide is on our wiki documentation. This is the overview page and it explains what skills you need to contribute to a quest. And you can really just start with an idea. Then you could actually write down the text that's said by the NPCs just through being able to have good language skills and an interesting idea for a story. Then there's an in-depth document on coding the quest and finally even on writing a JUnit test for the quest. So if you are a software developer then do take a look at any of the existing ideas and see if you were interested in programming them. Let's just have a look through at what a typical idea might look like. So, let's try one of the ideas which is separated out. The idea is broken up into a summary where an idea should be described. This needs to be filled in for this quest. Which NPCs would take part in the quest? Which the reward be? What the steps are? And what the NPCs might say? and then there can be discussions and comments. Okay, if you're actually interested in coding the quest, here's your document. We explain how to create a quest skeleton, and even if you don't understand any Java code, you could actually just follow this document and copy and paste what we say, because the important parts are explained and the logical reasons for using them are explained. And some of it is just needed for the code to work. Okay, I'm going to go back up to the top. So back to our development page. Quests is the place that I started to talk about to you today because it's one of the best ways to get involved whatever your level of coding. Even if you're already a really hot Java developer, 
but you just want to get to know the Stendhal code, then doing a quest for us is really useful. And new quests are always welcome. We've got over 100 and we'd really like to expand that. In fact, we like to add at least one new quest in every release. So, what else might you want to do? Graphics, sound and music, adding new items, having a look at new maps to add, or adding new creatures. Just click on the link and follow any of these through to find out how to work them. For maps in particular, we've got detailed tutorials about how to use Tiled to create maps. Now then, if you want to implement any idea before you start a large amount of work on it, it's a really good idea to come and talk to the developers. We have an IRC channel and I'm just going to show you how that works. If you click on that link, you can get to the logs from that link, from that chat link, which is also available down here. So if you ask a question and then you disappear, you can always come back and read the logs and see if it was answered. But you can also get into the channel by clicking here. Just pick a nickname. Fill in the capture link. I'm not very good at this, so... Oh dear. Hang on. I'm terrible at capture. If this works. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, so this little... Um, web page has taken me through to the RSC channel and there I can say hello to developers and players. I can ask a question and I should probably hang around for an answer. If I closed either this browser window or this tab then I'd actually leave the channel so just keep it open if you want to stay for an answer but if not then go back to the chat log. Great. If you do have a question by the way just ask it. Don't wait for someone to say hello back or anything um, just ask your question because there's a whole bunch of people in the channel who are not necessarily looking at the screen right now but may answer it later brilliant okay so there's how to discuss your ideas and finally i just want to briefly show you the wiki documentation which is available if you already know a little bit about java and you want to know where to get started there's java doc available you can look around the server code and the client code and here are our coding standards. So that was from the development link on our main page. If you do want to help us, then perhaps helping us close some bugs or implementing new features is what you want to do. In which case, go to our SourceForge page, which is available from really quite a number of links, but I've just shown you one way to get there. Here's our SourceForge project. Have a look in our tracker and just have a browse and see what bugs or feature requests are interesting to work on. But like I said, please do come to the IRC channel and talk to us before trying. So for example, this message that the game tells you that you have a red skull when you don't. You might look at that and want to find out in the code where to work on it or you might search the code for this text and then you can start fixing it. But do come along and comment here or come along to the IRC channel and let us know you're going to work on it. If you do comment here it's more than likely we'll see it because there are ways that the developers get updated on comments on tracker entries on new tracker entries um, via RSS and so on so your comment shouldn't be lost. But if you're at all unsure, then do just come along to our IRC channel. So there's an example of a bug report you might want to try. Likewise, perhaps features. Um, maybe this one, the clocks on the maps could show the real server time. Um, if you're really interested in that, you think that you might be able to implement it because you're good with client code, for example, then um, have a read, come into the channel and start talking to us. Finally, if you do want to submit a patch and you'd like to know what format to make the code if you are a coder then our wiki page has got a document for that I'm just going to search for it here oh hang on it doesn't look like what I expected let's just try a patch stendhal how to create a patch for stendhal sorry 
All right, so this guide tells you how to create a patch for Stentor using various methods. If you would like to use Eclipse for your development environment for coding in Java, then we've got a full guide here on the wiki as well. You can get to this from the building and hosting menu. Um, if you have any problems, again, just come to the IRC channel and let us know. So I think that's all. I've tried to make this video applicable both to people who are interested in contributing to the game who aren't coders and people who um, are coders already. If you're not a coder, I would say you could probably still get stuck in if you want to. Just download a copy of our source code and start having a look around. Or download Eclipse, the development environment, put a stand all on it. You'll be able to modify the code, build the code and run your server with any changes you've made really simply and easily with Eclipse. So we really do recommend that if you want to start doing stand all code changes. And then if you've got some changes you want to give us, then submit a patch in the form that we've explained on our wiki document. And if you've got any questions, then please just come along to our channel. If this video has left you completely unsure of how to contribute, because either not enough information has been given or too many options have been given, please just come along to this channel and ask for help and tell me how I should make the video better. And I'll do a new one. Okay, thanks very much. Goodbye.